Hey guys! So today I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of the tea that went down with James, Charles, and Tati. So the drama began when James promoted Sugar Bear Hair Care, a competitor of Tati's on his Instagram story, which clearly hurt Tati very much because they were really close. James apologized to Tati on his Instagram story and defended himself by saying, This weekend I did an Instagram story for sleep vitamins that I've been taking because the brand helped me with security when the crowd around me at Coachella became unsafe. I did not accept any money from this post. In her new video entitled Bye Sister, Tati basically exposes all the different ways she's helped James in the past. James has lost 3 million subscribers since then. Here's a quick summary of what she had to say. She said James texted her after he did the sugar bear hair ad, trying to brush it off as no biggie, which is very typical of James to do. She acknowledged Gabriel Zamora's comments about her and says that they are and never were friends. But we aren't friends. We don't hang out. I don't have his phone number. We don't chat, DM, talk, none of that. There's no relationship. She was really hurt about him minimizing her pain and stated that that was so not right on so many levels. Now moving on to James, she says she does not agree with a lot of stuff going on with him right now. Fame, power, and a fat bank account will change almost anyone. And if you don't have people that will tell you to your face that you're doing the wrong things, you will change. And I tried to be that person for you, James. I really tried. I don't think there's any getting through to you. and. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be associated with you. And I need to say that very publicly so that this chapter can just be closed. It would have been one thing if he had sincerely apologized to her about the situation, but he apparently responded very insincerely to her only to protect his brand. She soon realized that he had been talking to multiple drama channels for damage control. And she goes back in time and talks about how she supported him during his many scandals. This was prior to CoverGirl, so she really helped his channel jumpstart. And I was constantly like, you're talented. You've got this. Keep going. What do you need? How can I help you? I had a lot of influence at the time. You know, I've promoted him. I've supported him. I've put him in so many videos. Every time that I hold up a Morphe item, I always say, use code James. And even her husband helped him out a lot with the business side of James's work. She spills the tea on how she helped him when she was flustered at the low percentage Morphe was offering him by offering him a better deal so he had some leverage when negotiating. This led to him to ultimately get a better percentage for Morphe. She moves on to talk about how he never had her on his channel until it was in his favor. He was popping off online about exposing the beauty community in a docu-series and she had to talk him out of it. Because at the end of the day, he's a part of the beauty community himself and he's not better than everyone else. And then she talks about how him wanting to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay makes her want to vomit. You know, it's really disgusting to manipulate someone's sexuality, especially when they are still, you know, emerging into adulthood and don't quite have everything figured out. You are using your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. She had told him multiple times that this behavior is not okay, even in front of Gabriel Zamora. So, I'm really shocked, Gabriel, that you really don't care about this at all and what is happening. You were totally complicit with the situation, obviously, with the video that you made. All right, I'm pissed. I literally, eye to eye, had enough respect for you and love for you and care for you to tell you to go and get some help. I told you that this was not good and that you could have your career completely destroyed. He once was making inappropriate comments about a waiter and when she called him out on it, he said, it doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity, which really pissed her off. And you said that in front of my family, in front of my childhood friends. I had to call every one of them up the next morning and apologize on your behalf because it was so uncomfortable. Now back to the sugar bear hair thing. She says his whole Coachella story was a blatant lie. She also exposes him for having had previously told her that he doesn't even like sugar bear hair products and he also couldn't have used the gummies for over a week because he posted about it nine days after Coachella. You went to Coachella, somehow had a security issue, and magically Sugar Bear Hair is there with a contract in hand to save the day for you and all of your friends. No company would ever go out of their way to have an extra, you know, handful of passes that cost thousands of dollars a piece, like just in case um, there's value there and there's a value exchange. Like, Gabriel's correct about that. Brands know what they're doing. And that leads me to believe that this was orchestrated beforehand, but he had emotional conflict because of me and promises he made to me behind the scenes. Um, so he had to come up with a very clever story and didn't tell me right when he got back, but after the little bit was posted on their launch day. You're my family, I love you still. This is not about money at all, like at all. What do you guys think about this whole situation? I personally think more people like Tati should become rich and famous and less people like James. All right guys, so that's pretty much like the gist of it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Bye.